Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping in. Hit the like button if you like and please subscribe. It would help a lot and I appreciate it greatly and God bless you for that. The final public hearing of January 6th committee opening Wednesday is a moment to read article 30 the Massachusetts Constitution. I do believe that's what that is. XXX. Anyway, numeral, numeral, whatever. I think that's 30. <laughs> that might sound obscure, but the Bay State Parchment is the world's oldest functioning written constitution. And it's Article 30, the most famous formulation ever written in respect to separate powers, which is the most majestic element of our texture for our texture for limiting the power of the government. I'm going to try to get through this if I can. In the government of the Commonwealth, says article XXX, I think that does stand for 30 numero numeral letters, of the Massachusetts Constitution. Oh, brother. The legislative, legislative department shall never exercise, exercise ex executive and judicial powers or either of them. The executive shall never exercise the legislative and ju judicial powers or either of them. The judicial shall never exercise the legislative and executive powers or either of them. To the end, it may be a government of laws, not men. Not of men. The text has been initialized to emphasize the part of the principle that the January 6th committee is violating. As a legislative panel, the committee has sought from its inception to exercise executive power, criminal prosecution. The panel solons were bar barring techniques from federal prosecutions, employing aggressive tactics typically used against monsters and terrorists. The Times reported actually hiring 14 ex-federal prosecutors. For what would it for what would it do that? Question mark. The Times reported the committee sought to break through stonewalling from Mr. Trump and his Kateri C O T E R I E Kateri to develop evidence that could prompt a criminal case. The idea, the Times explained, was to surmount the panel's lack of authority to pursue criminal charges. So its best opportunity to hold Mr. Trump and his team accountable was pressuring Attorney General Garland to investigate and prosecute them. This mission uh, creep arose despite the enabling resolution of the paneling assigning it to the investigative investigate the facts, circumstances, and causes of the January 6th riot. It has long since become clear that by taking on and performing the functions of persecutorial, persecutorial body, the legislatures of the committee lost sight of their constitutional role as writers of the law and instead came to see themselves as enforcers of it. It's no wonder why the framers including John Adams of the United States Constitution drew so heavily on that Massachusetts and why in separating powers the framers also prohibited Congress from enacting bills of attainder attainder a-t-t-a-i-n-d-e-r attainder that is from declaring individuals guilty of crimes the goal was to avoid what the Supreme Court has called trial by legislature by precisely what the January 6th committee has been trying to achieve. The ban on bills of attainder was a safeguard against legislative exercise of the judicial function. As Chief Justice Warren wrote in United States v. Brown, they were one of the tools of ty tyranny under the British monarchy used to punish individuals who had run afoul of Parliament. The framers, Warren wrote, sought to guard against such dangers by limiting legislatures to the task of rule-making, 
The January 6th committee's defiance is brazen. The committee knows this. Its hearing will be shadowed by doubts over its legitimacy, legitimacy marked the other day by the writers of the District of Columbia Circuit of the United States Court of Appeals. The writers allowed Congress to withdraw its subpoena for evidence from the Republican National Committee rather than having the panels legally, le, legally weighed in court, but said that the left important constitutional questions unsettled. One would have to go back to the House Un-American Activities Committee, known as H-U-A-C. House Un-American Activities Committee to find a moment in our history when the constitutionality of the behavior of a major congressional committee had itself fallen into question. The J-6 committee could yet come up with something dispositive. It hasn't yet, though, and even if it does, whenever it comes up, with would start to look like fruit from a poison tree. They should have read John Adams. Now that was very interesting to me. I really kind of like that. Yes. Okay, this is going to be a short video, but uh, I will be back a little bit later. So thank you very much for uh, joining me, and I'll see you all later. Bye.